All right, so in the file of things not to do, um, I am currently sitting on top of a roof. Here's the, the lovely view. And uh, I've got myself stuck up here. So I'm now waiting on a fire truck to come and help me get down. Um, when I came, it's a hot day. And uh, getting up here, I was okay. And uh, I guess it's gotten hot enough while I was up here that uh, the shingles have gotten softer. And so when I went to start going down, I just started sliding. Um, and so uh, I tried a couple different times, a couple different angles, and uh, just couldn't get it. And the way my ladder is positioned, um, it's it's over right toward the edge, and so I couldn't get it. I should have I should have set it over here, where that valley is, um, but I didn't. I set it over here on the edge, and so uh, if I do start sliding going toward it, I got nothing to grab hold of, and I'll just kick the ladder out and fall down with it. So uh, sitting up here waiting for Fredericksburg Fire Department to come get me off the daggone roof. Uh, yep. So big dummy of the uh, day award definitely goes to me. And uh, I'm sure I will get some ribbon on this, but uh, I'd rather call them and be safe and fall off this daggone thing. So uh, anyway, while I'm up here, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about 516 Project. Um, and to clarify, this was not a 516 project. This is a friend of mine's house that uh, they had a, some shingles blow off. So I was just up here trying to put a tarp over it to, uh, until they could get a contractor out here to fix it. Um, so uh, that's what you get for helping a friend. <laughs> oh, I can't help but laugh. Um, but hey, so since I'm up here and I got some time, let's let's do this Mission Monday thing. Um, <laughs> So uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff going on with 516 Project. Uh, we've got some expansion coming up. Uh, we're getting ready to do a leadership training out in King George County. Uh, the dates for that are going to be coming out, I'm hoping, on Wednesday. I'm just trying to finalize a couple things. Uh, so my hope is that those dates will be coming out Wednesday for the uh, training out there in King George. Uh, and then shortly after that, we're going to be announcing dates for training down in Richmond. Uh, there again, just working on finalizing a few things uh, in regards to that. Um, so basically what the leadership training is, is that gets you the skills of, and the information from our end of the basic process of what we need to do uh, to get a project completed. Uh, so get you the uh, paperwork process and you know kind of the steps we take uh, to love on these families and uh, allows you to open up a job ticket so that we can get another project complete. So um, even if you're not a uh, you know contractor by trade or super skilled person or whatever, uh, you can still definitely help out. Uh, so make sure you pay attention to when those dates are coming out and see if you can jump in there and help out. Uh, like I said, we're doing the next one out in King George County. Uh, we've gotten a, a lot of requests out that way, and uh, we've teamed up with uh, Round Hill Baptist and with Life Point King George uh, to put this next training on. So we're really excited about getting that going. Um, and then uh, I was trying to think of what else we got going on right now. It's funny how when you're up on a roof and it's 90 some degrees, your mind doesn't uh, remember everything <laughs> that it should. Um, but uh, let's see, what else is coming up new? Oh, so we are also um, getting ready to get the, uh, the trailer going. Uh, so we had a trailer donated um, earlier this year by LifePoint Church, and uh, it's going to be outfitted to be kind of a mobile workshop. Um, so it's been a kind of a long process, but we finally, I think, got the design ready for that. And so basically what'll happen is this thing will be set up to where we can pull up to a house, open the doors, plug in a shoreline, and we'll have power to it, have lights in there, saws on all set up, uh, so that especially for like wheelchair ramps and any kind of carpentry projects in particular, uh, we'll be able to knock those out pretty quick. Um, so we're really excited about getting that going. Should have it ready here in the next week or two. Um, <clears throat> then let's see what else we need to cover. Um, let's cover ladder safety. Don't climb up on roofs that you can't get off of without a partner. Uh, man, I, I tell you, I feel like a dummy today. Um, then, uh, as y'all are thinking about getting involved, um, I know there's a lot of people that have commented on the videos of wanting to get involved in different ways. Um, we're going to have some, try to open up some more ways. I know a couple people have commented about wanting to help with office work and stuff like that. Um, right now we just don't have... You know, what we do have is being covered by the, the couple of volunteers we've got in place for that. Um, but we, we are, as we, you know, as things grow, we're going to have more of that stuff coming up. So, uh, you know, don't, don't lose hope at this point. But, um, hey, we'll keep it short for today. Like I said, hopefully the fire truck will be here soon. Get me off this roof. I'll uh, post some pictures with the guys. <laughs> and uh, I definitely am going to owe them some ice cream big time. Um, so I'll have to stop by the station later with some ice cream or dinner or something. But, uh, hey, thanks for following along. I appreciate your prayers as I get off this stupid roof. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, I, I can't help but laugh. I just feel like a big dummy. I've been doing this type of stuff for over 20 years and here I am sitting on a roof waiting on a fire truck. Um, but anyway, hey, I just saw them pull up, so I've got to run. Talk to y'all later.